Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can replace your hard-coded secrets in code and in environment variables with a 1Password secrets reference, and then use a 1Password service account to access that secret uh, when you need it at runtime. So I'm logged in to a remote machine here, and I have a Python script that will use the OpenAI API to send a request and then print out that response received. Now the first step is to authenticate with the API by passing an API key. If we look at the um, documentation for this OpenAI Python library, we'll see that they offer uh, two suggestions on how to access that API key. The first is a pretty standard way of setting an environment variable with that hard-coded secret um, as the value. The second, which is definitely not recommended, is to hard code it in your code. This is how it ends up in your repositories. This is how it gets leaked. This is not recommended. Um, so we will take the first approach. At least if we use an environment variable, it won't end up in our uh, repositories. However, there are other disadvantages to doing this that we'll discuss in a moment. But first, let's take this approach. So we'll hop back over here and we will set this environment variable. Now, I already have my API key stored in one password, so I can access it through the quick access menu and just copy this credential and paste it. There we go. Now, let's double check that it's actually working by running our Python script. So I will ask it to write a haiku about, oops, haiku about one password. I don't know if that's actually haiku, but it still responded. It authenticated and it responded. So there we go. Um, now, what are the problems with using an environment variable? So, uh, or a hard-coded value um, for an environment variable. So as you just saw, I just leaked my secret um, in this video. So I have to go back to OpenAI, uh, roll that API key and get a new one. And then I would have to go and update um, every single environment variable that uh, uses that uh, value. So that could be, I mean, that's the very definition of secret sprawl. Who knows where that might exist? It's all over the place. So how do we centralize that and make sure that there's a single source of truth for that secret? Well, as you saw, I already have it stored in one password. So what we can do instead of using the hard-coded value as the environment variable, we can use a secrets reference instead. Let me show you that. So. We already have the value here in 1Password. I will view details, and here I can copy the secrets reference. I'll paste that in. Now, it's a special string that starts with the OP to tell it it's a, it's a 1Password CLI command. It provides the name of the vault, the name of the item itself, and the value that we want. So there we go, I've set the, um, environment variable to use the secrets reference instead of the, the raw value. Now, if I were to run my Python script again, it would actually fail because uh, I'm just passing that raw string and that's not the API key. I need to reference the API key and inject it. To do that, I would need to use the op run command from the, from the 1Password CLI, which I have installed here, version 2.18. Um, however, I am not logged in. So if I run the um, op user get me command, you'll see that no accounts are configured. Now I have a few options. I, can, I can't connect um, to the app directly because I'm on a remote machine and the app isn't installed, but I could use the CLI to enter my username, my password, and my secret key. However, if I do that, then this machine will now have access to all of my 1Password vaults and items. So again, that's not ideal for a remote environment. Um, and I definitely don't wanna do that. I just wanna give it access to this one vault uh, that has the items that I need for this script. So what I will do is I'll authenticate using a 1Password service account. So to do that, I'll come back over to 1Password. I'll come to the integrations tab and under infrastructure secrets management, I can select other, create a service account and I'll give it the name OpenAI testing or test. I can select which vaults it has access to. I'm going to give it read-only access to the API vault that has my credentials inside of it. 
and then I'm given a token. So let me copy that token and come back over here. Now I will ex export the OP service uh, account token environment variable. And if I run the OP user get dash dash me, I will see that I am logged in now as OpenAI test service account created 34 seconds ago. Wonderful. So now um, to get this secrets reference to actually inject the secret at runtime, we'll use the OP run command and pass the Python command that we want to run, which is OpenAI test.py. There we go. Now we can say write a tagline for a romantic comedy about one password. Uh, unlocking love one password at a time. I love it. Great. So that was a great example of how you can very quickly replace hard-coded secrets with secrets references from one password and then use a service account to access those secrets at runtime very quickly, helping reduce secret sprawl, helping improve your secrets management. So thanks a lot for watching and be sure to head over to developer.onepassword.com to check out the rest of the great developer tools we're building to help developers improve their security and improve their workflows. Thanks again.